so we're talking about shot creating, which probably should be called shoot creating because it's the process of spraying concrete on a, f on a series of reinforcing bars within a form, a one-sided form. So traditionally, concrete walls are uh, formed up. There's a, there's a form inside which are steel bars reinforcing to uh, enable forming the concrete while it's wet. And uh, the concrete is placed inside typically today through a pump truck and a hose, and it's vibrated so they get the air pockets out. But the, basically, there's two forms that hold it together. The forms have ties going across to hold the forms together, which snap off after the forms are removed and the ties stay inside the wall, don't hurt anything, and you have a concrete wall. That's very traditional. It's still done. There's instances where this isn't possible inside an old building, for example. Or in this case, we're talking about where there's shoring, which we've talked about in another video, where there's dirt. And there's a shoring wall put up. And then the steel reinforcing goes in. And instead of forming this, the concrete is sprayed on. So uh, I'm going to draw myself here. And uh, which goes to a, it goes to a concrete truck, and the the concrete is sprayed on by an operator that's experienced in doing this, and of course it's done from the bottom up, and it's the concrete is not as loose as when it's poured in here, so it's stiffer. There's a lot of there's a fair amount of concrete that falls on the ground and rubble that's taken away as spoil material. It's just basically thrown away. But the concrete stays in place around the reinforcing. And the process is to screed this off like plaster, where it's pulled down and leveled off. It's fairly rough when it's finished. But in this case, we have a parking garage. It's not a big deal. So you have a one-sided form where you're spraying on the concrete or shot creating the concrete as it's called to avoid the second form and having to fill it from here, which is difficult on a very tall pour and not impossible, but it's usually done in lifts. In this case, the shoring is tall, so you're spraying it and working upwards.